Hi, you're watching Adafruit on YouTube. My name is Noah, and this is the show about 3D printing and DIY electronics. Today we're making a 3D printed stand for wirelessly charging your phone and a tablet. This is a simple Qi wireless charging transmitter. It works with the standard Qi charging receivers and smartphones with built-in wireless Qi charging. We designed this simple stand to be just one part with standoffs on the back to mount the board. This is a Qi receiver module for the iPhone 6 Plus. You can stick it on the back and plug it into the lightning connector to make it work with wireless Qi chargers. It's really thin so it'll still fit in your phone's case. You can get both the transmitter and the receiver to make your own wireless charging projects. We designed the stand in Fusion 360 and sized it for an iPhone 6 Plus and a Nexus 7 tablet. The files are public so you can make this stand fit any other device. We think it's an easy project that'll help you learn more about the design process. The best orientation to print this part is on its side. The part will fit on most FDM 3D printers and it works with or without support material. We can temporarily desolder the wires from the base to hide them behind the stand. Be sure to check out the full tutorial linked below for project details. Using tweezers, we can carefully thread the wires through the hole in the stand. The front side has a recess cutout for the charging base and it sits nicely flush with the surface of the stand. We used M3 Phillips machine screws to mount the transmitter PCB to the four standoffs on the back of the stand. To power the transmitter, you just connect the board to a 5 volt power supply using micro USB. Now we can wirelessly charge our phones while they lounge. Also, I must ask you to check out this project if you're looking to wirelessly charge an Apple Watch. So there you have it, a nice and easy way to 3D print a stand for your wireless Qi charger. So if you've made any projects for wireless charging, let us know in the comments and we'll share it on our Adafruit blog. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram to see work in progress. But until then, thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe for more projects from Adafruit. I'll see you guys next week.